Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Today we are at Raleigh. I am at my in-laws house, like my sister-in-laws, and she lives like an hour away from Raleigh. So I was like, I'm gonna go check out the bookstores at Raleigh because I feel like, wow, that girl looks just like Maddie from The Bachelor. Um, anyways, I was gonna say, I am, I don't know where in Raleigh, but I will insert it somewhere in the screen and I'm about to go to like a secondhand bookstore. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see. I also am gonna go, I'm gonna go to this secondhand bookstore. I'm gonna go to another one. And then I wanna go to a K-pop store to see if they have any BTS merch, obviously. And then I am gonna go to H Mart because I wanna eat some beef bulgogi and rice. I am craving it. And I've never been to an H Mart and I hear that it's pretty cool especially for someone who's like into like korean culture and stuff like that so yeah anyways hopefully they have like boba you know because i haven't tried boba in a while i feel like it's been like at least two years so anyways i digress we'll see you guys at the store so i passed the place that i was um looking for so i'm probably gonna have to walk more than i had planned but this is like a college town i have no idea that there were so many freaking students there's so many dorms and places i feel safe you know what i mean like the only thing i'm worried about is like my parking because i park like all the way back there and yeah i don't have the most um walking friendly shoes i mean i'm wearing burks i found it guys look at it it's so cute i feel like i should have crossed at the crosswalk you know this side is 25 cents are you serious right now oh they're like school books oh look vinyls nice Ten cents? Are you serious? There's no way. Are they fiction though? All right, guys, we made it to the next place. Kind of looks like a bougie type of shopping center. Like, half of these stores look like I can't even afford them. So we're gonna go straight to the <laughs> bookstore, which is at the other side. It's pretty crowded. I ended up finding parking way farther away like than I wanted, but it's okay. It's okay, I don't mind walking, you know? I actually really like walking. So it's just, I hate walking when I'm alone, you know, cause I get a little scared. I get a little scared, but I'll be okay. So yeah, anyways, um, I did not show you what I got in the other store, but I got this one. This one I got for not a $9.95. So I paid like, I wanted to read this so bad and I had the audiobook in the library and I borrowed it, but then I never ended up reading it or listening to it and then I lost it. Like I had to give it back, so. I was a little bummed out about that, but I am glad that I found it because now I can read it whenever I want. So anyways, let's go to the other one.
So I got a Chipotle bowl. I was gonna eat at H Mart, but H Mart is like super far away. So like I didn't want to like go all the way out there to then come back up to the north to then go back to the south. So we're just gonna go with Chipotle and I'll see if I can get like bulgogi to go or something and I'll eat it at my sister-in-law's house. I have a little bit of a hangover after two beers. <laughs> Okay, not after two beers, but uh, my stomach is a little, you know, acting up because I did drink alcohol last night. So, I went with Sprite even though I don't drink soda because I feel like Sprite really does help my stomach whenever it's feeling like that. So, anyways, I'm going to be eating this and then I will see you at the K-pop store. So, I just got to the K-pop place and I think they don't open until like 2 and it's 1.47. So, I'm going to go ahead and get some boba inside the restaurant and then I'll ask if they have the stores. It's kind of like sketchy looking. I feel like I can't even see the entrance. So that's what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog in there, honestly, but we'll see, we'll see. All right, so I got one of these. I think they're called Tasiyaki or Taiyusaki. One of those. And it has Nutella on the inside. Honestly, it's really hot. So I'm probably gonna eat it after I come back from H Mart. I also got some boba. I got matcha. So I went to the K-pop store and honestly, it was so tiny that like I couldn't I couldn't vlog because I'm I'm still like in an awkward face, you know. Like I don't like vlogging in public. Oh my gosh. Like I don't like vlogging in public. So. <laughs> uh there was a lot of albums i saw the school love affair one i kind of wanted to get it but honestly i don't need it and yeah i feel like i'm done buying new albums i feel like from now on i'll only buy like the new releases and that's it um so yeah let's go to h mart h mart is pretty far away i don't know if i even want to go honestly like i feel like i already got like korean snacks you know and i was gonna go to h mart to buy korean food so i might just go home okay so i got this one for 9.95 and honestly i don't know anything about it i think it's like um because i was gonna read it in march and i did put it in my march tbr i think this is about a girl who is in an arranged not arranged marriage but she is gonna marry someone or is engaged to someone and then she falls in love with his sister because she's pretending to be i don't know if she's pretending to be straight or if she's bisexual they decide to spend the holidays together, but when Andrew introduces the new fiancé to his sister, Ellie is shocked to discover that his sister is Jack, the mysterious woman she fell for last Christmas Eve. Now, over one very festive week, Ellie must choose between the safety of a fake relationship or the risk of something real. I wonder if his sister is trans or she just like is like non-binary and changed her name to Jack because Jack is a male name. But you know, everything is life and life is a spectrum and honestly name your kids whatever you want you know who cares anyways yeah this is um one of them that i picked up and then i picked up before the coffee gets cold this one i try to listen to on audiobook and i dnf'd because i was not into it but i feel like the the reader's corner this is so cute i didn't know she put a bookmark in it um this one was 5.95 and it's a pretty quick read it is really small it is 271 pages but honestly they're like so big like the letters are pretty big and yeah it looks like a definitely like quick read and it is translated from japanese and normally japanese books that talk about like your existence like um convenience store woman which i think is korean not japanese and then almond those type of books i love them i love them and i feel like this is gonna be just like that a lot of people like this book which is why i refuse to keep it in my dnf shelf okay i saw it for five bucks why not try it and i feel like it's so popular if i put it on pango it's gonna get sold right away if i don't like it so and then last but not least i got the cutest the cutest book i've ever seen in my life are you kidding me it is the cutest book ever like are you kidding me and like the flowers i'm obsessed i'm obsessed so this i don't know how i'm gonna read this this is kind of like hard to read but honestly i don't care i don't care i love this so maud who is the main character of this book is an 88 year old woman and it says that in these six interlocking stories so it's different stories in one 
Uh, memories of unfortunate incidents from Maud's past keep bubbling to the surface. Meanwhile, certain problems in the present require immediate attention. Luckily, Maud is no stranger to taking matters into her own hands, even if it means she has to get a little blood on them in the process. Yes, I love an older lady who kills people. Yes, good for you, girl. I'm kidding. Oh, is that the sun? Hi, son. Sorry, I just filmed like a Marsh TBR and there was like literally like a storm outside. So I'm sure you can hear the, hear the rain in the background the whole time and the sun is finally out. So I am happy about that. So yeah, anyways, um, this is the last book I got. This was a really short vlog. I didn't do half of the things that I said I was gonna do. I'm sorry about that. So yeah, if you like this vlog, make sure you hit the like button down below and I will see you in my next one. I was gonna say something else, but honestly, I don't know what I was talking about during this vlog because it was a week ago, so... <laughs>